hello everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the improvement of the skin that means the this title was the how to improve the skin tone of portrait photography so the previous image was like that and after editing this i just made this one so here is lots of steps and uh, I'll show you those steps and how to just maintain those steps and other steps. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. At first, I'll go to the file and open up here the photo. I downloaded this one from pixels.com. I'll give you the download link and other credits over my video description. So at first, I'll make copy by pressing Ctrl A and then I'll increase the shadow highlighting of the face and then I'll do the next step. At first make two copy of this layer. One is shadow and another one is highlight. Turn off the shadow option. Select the highlight option. Go to the blending mode into screen. Right press and blending options. From here, here is the underlining options and I'll find out the highlighted area of the face and then press the order button and then just adjust the face with the skin okay that's good so you have to adjust the light with the skin yeah that's good and hit the ok button and then mask this one and go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button and then turn on the is option the shadow option make the blending mode to multiply right press same process here but another sides layer that means the slider and find out the shadow area of the face press the alter button and divide this one and adjust with the shadow color shadow of the face so after that mask it and image and the apply image but in this case make it invert and hit ok select these two layer make it group and make it mask and after masking that image and apply image and now invert this one and hit ok let's see the before one and after one shadow and highlighted area will be prominent and then select these two things make it group and make it merge and now i will apply the skin finer that is the plugins photo toolbox skin finer from the filter options and if you want to know more about the skin finer please check out my video description i made another detailed video about the skin finer so i'll work with the skin detailing and skin tone and skin detailing will be 74 77 and screen fine will be like that let's zoom it in okay after that here is the options i'll decrease the saturation and brightness i'll increase and shadow as well and highlight i'll make it a little bit down so it will make the like highlighted or dehighlighted area more prominent and uh, nice so and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output so after that just press ctrl j and then i'll increase the sharpness so make it like vivid light the blending mode and then go to the filter and other and the high pass so high pass make the high pass 0.5 yes and hit ok and select these two things it group and make it merge and now i'll go to the filter and camera filter this camera plugins is you know that the solution you'll get over here so i just made a preset i'll go to the load settings options and here is a preset that is the skin color and hit the open button it will take time yeah that's good and if you need to change it up you can change from here if you need to add the light shadow or other steps here all the settings all the assumption to make your like um, changes so and hit ok after that just go to the adjustment layer and then go to the color lookup and then futuristic color and make this one like 15 or 13 percent that's good and then just take a new blank layer and zoom the eyes i'll increase the eye color so make the 
color here the foreground and background color the foreground color will be white and take a brush and select this brush and make the brush size according to the cornea and just select once and select once before selecting these check out the opacity and flow 100% and make the blending mode to overlay and select these three things make it group and make it merge and now let's see the before one and after one so now time for apply another like uh, effects so go to the filter and the uh, Nick collection color effects pro it will take time to load it up and just loading the panels and from these panels I'll apply all the other stuffs so here I'm using the cross processing and here are lots of methods you can use one of them so I'll use the L03 or L02 L03 is good and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so saving the image the loading bar yeah that's fine the before one and after one we're getting huge change over there so from here i'll go to the like gradient and change the gradient like to black and make the style radial and angle will be zero degree and 350 around reverse and tether so i'll bring this lighting portion from here and hit ok so after that go to the adjustment layer again and the levels options from here i'll adjust the level like this and like this so after that go to the adjustment again and go to the exposure from the exposure options i'll just add 23 exposure and offset 36 and here 0.98 or 89 yeah that's fine so you have to balance the levels so from here you're getting the levels like this so yeah you have to maintain this one so that's fine around 0 0.97 and 284 and 6 that's the settings and now i'll select all the things make it group and make it merge so you're getting the final output here so let's see the what i have done at first i just made the shadow highlighting at first i just make a copy of the backup layer and then i just made two copies uh, for shadow and highlight i just use the dodge burn options if you need you can change that just double click here the overlapping box and you can adjust all the things so shadow and highlight and after applying the shadow and highlight we just applied the skin finer that is the plugins and then the increase the sharpness for using the vivid light and the filter and high pass and after that i just use two things here the color lookup that is the like futuristic color lookup and then the eye color the cornea and the eyeballs as well and then i just used here the like a uh, nick collection here color cross processing and uh, cep4 and then the like here the gradient and the uh, filters like the levels and the effects that is the exposure and after that i just this one so this one the before one and after one you are getting totally different type skin tone and it will make your photography editing level in a next way so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you need the preset and other steps please check out my video description and if you learn a lot from here please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye